Oh, have we got some really interesting stuff coming up for you. We've got this W115. We've got this Kubota tractor. We've also got this Imp. We've lots and lots of cool videos coming up. And believe it or not, look at this. Original fuses. <laughs> Don't you just love them? And uh, we've got a lot of work on this bad boy. This actual car is very famous. It is, there's a place um, near Dublin called Slane Castle. It's a massive music place. And back in the day, this was the hackney for that. So a lot, a lot of famous musicians has been in this bad boy. It's been sitting for three years. Don't know how long that's been sitting for. And I think that's been sitting for maybe a little bit longer. So it's our job to go through it all. Um, I think we're rebuilding the carburetor. I think he's got a rebuild kit coming and a few bits like that, but we've got to get it up and running, get it working. He's been doing a few bits onto it um, three years ago and he's basically left it. So you can see interior is pretty much mint. Typical of the ages, 1972, I believe. 1971, 1972. And uh, yeah. Lots of work to do. I think some of the brakes to seize, there's a bit of rust underneath. We're going to leave that for the minute. Just get it going, get it running for him, and then we can work on all the other issues afterwards. Service, all that good stuff. What I didn't see on it, which is really good, it's been converted to electronic ignition, which is obviously brilliant because points and stuff, it's just a waste of time. Um, electronic ignition is definitely the way to go. If it wasn't converted, I would be converting it, but lucky enough it is. One less job to do. But we've got, let me get around the other side because I can show you a few issues we've already got with it. Original mileage, uh, completely original car, apart from obviously a few little modern tweaks like electronic ignition and stuff. But the customer has been doing a few bits to this, but hasn't touched it in over three years. And um, yeah, so we've we've got obviously there's obviously an issue here somewhere um, leaking or something. We've also got issues here where it's all been kind of patched up. Uh, we've also got patches up there. There's a lot of things we need to get sorted on the car properly, which we will do over several videos. Um, good old fashioned rad there, lot copper couple of rad and um yeah so there's lots of things we need to do over over i don't know how many videos um to get this kind of you know up and working again um i think he said it was resprayed over 30 odd years ago and it is showing its age a little bit but still it's in it's in great nick um there is issues with it i see some sealer some sealer around here but yeah look at it isn't it beautiful when mercedes actually made nice looking kind of reliable cars not to what they are now um this is the two liter petrol and uh yeah but it's gonna be interesting rebuilding this bad boy and getting it all up and working properly no more um <laughs> no more of this stuff on it even these bullet connections, um, not particularly great. I think, you know, again, I don't know how we, how far he wants me to go with it, but, you know, we'll get this. This is this is extra. This is not uh, standard. He said he put that there when he was doing bits of the engine, wouldn't swallow anything major. Um, so, yeah, he's just going to have to get some petrol, and uh, we're going to be starting our first video on this bad boy very soon. The Imp, we're going to get some videos on that too. And again, he wants me to work on this. This is this is unbelievable. I really do like this thing, uh, this little mini tractor. That's his uh, grass cutting box there. I think there's issues with that. Um, this is really hard to start, apparently. Um, so we're going to have to be doing, you know, work with this service and it heater plugs. There is also uh, a valve on it to let all the compression out of the engine to make it easier to start. But he says it's really, really difficult to start. So we're going to have all that to do again separate videos on this but 
I mean, it is such a cool little tractor and it is tiny. Um, you can see it compared to the Imp. I mean, the Imp's a small car and the tractor is three times smaller. So it's just, it's perfect for him around his garden and stuff. Um, because you can put any attachments you want onto it. This was an import apparently. Um, he's had this for, I think he said 30, 30 40 years. It's over 50 years old, this thing. Um, and it's just, I love it. I really do. I absolutely love it. I mean, everyone needs a tractor. And especially one this size. It's fantastic. Right, 10 points. Can anyone tell me why the nickname of this W115 is called a Stroke 8? Answers down below. Right, and we got work to do on this Imp Super. Uh, loving the colour. Um, again, they just don't make cars that useful. I know they can't because of all the suggestion rules and if you hit someone and all that crap. But um just look at this beautiful very simple very basic um is that mold there's a bit of mold on the old fake leather um or vinyl or leather esh whatever it is and uh, but again this looks in good nick just been sat for a while so again i don't know it's going to be the you know brakes service fuel that type of stuff you know maybe the fuel's gone all kind of stagnant there's no fuel in this he ran it dry which in some ways is maybe good because it means it's not really crystallizing anywhere i'm not sure with this one what the story is as regards crystallizing but we're not we're going to be doing the merc first um well actually i think i have to get this up going for him first because he, he needs this for his garden so i have to get this going first before I can work on the Merc. We've got a few days. I think I'm spending three days here. So whatever we can get done in three days. I think we're just going to be able to get this started. And start and work on this. I, we're not going to really get anything finished I don't think. Um, I don't know how bad the brakes are. And he hasn't got all the kit for the um, carburetor yet. So it is on order. There's a full rebuild kit coming. So I've said to him, there's no point really touching it until we get a full rebuild kit. Because if we half do it, and we can lose bits and all sorts. But we can do some old-fashioned tweak tuning on this. Um, just to get him going or get the car running until we get the kit here. For example, one thing you can do on any kind of carburetor system. Well, I'll show you. What you do is, you need to get the engine started first. You basically rev the tits up. And you put your hand over this, completely squashing it to suck in your hand in. But you're still revving at the same time. Now the car won't continue revving because you're basically stopping all the air going into it. But what you can do is, and it does work. Now, it doesn't, doesn't mean you don't have to rebuild. It can just, if there's any little bits of crap in there, and you, you hold it and basically stop any air getting into it, but the engine's still revving quite high as it's dying, it can draw the little bits of crap through the needles and kind of unblock itself. Uh, it does work. It's not always the answer, but it definitely does work. So we're going to do that for this one. I'm just looking um, there. Oh, there's a one-way valve for the brakes. Um, so yeah, he did take out the spark plug and it is quite black. But again, you know, it hasn't been running properly, so I wouldn't worry about that. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully we don't find any surprises, you know, leaking pipes or anything. We won't know until until we get this bad boy up and running. But this is what we've got coming up. So really hope you're going to enjoy these videos. And he's really struggling to get people to work on these old cars. I mean, I personally love working on old cars. I've worked on a lot of old cars and I've restored a lot of old cars. I just don't understand why a lot of uh, mechanics are scared of them. It's because I think they just don't know anything really about them. Now, regards to a modern car, they're very simple, but they do have the little foreballs and tweaks, and there is a few things you need to know about certain cars, um, you know, especially the older cars, before you can work on them or things you have to do. Some of the older cars, they have a positive, um, a positive earth, 
you know um, so the the positive is directly to the earth not the other way around and again if you didn't know that and put it on wrong you can cause damage you know little things like that um, that you do need to, to, to know depend on what car you are working on but we're gonna be working on three different things here an imp a kabuta and a merc so yeah I cannot wait I mean if you don't move a classic car and find newspaper and some kind of liquid on the floor underneath it it's not an old car right